back. Today, I got some pretty interesting earbuds that I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about, and they're actually neck buds. So this is from Hear Better, Hear High Acuity, and these are the neck buds. So there you go, wireless stereo assistive hearing amplified earbuds. They have a 10-hour battery life. The gain in equipment input noise is below 29 dBs. Personalized application with eight channels, DSP processing, um, a lot of stuff. Now, this does have their own personalized app with iOS, Apple, and Android, Google Play Store. So we're going to check this one out. Now, if you are interested in this, as always, make sure you guys do check the description below. I try to leave you guys all the latest and greatest deals. Um, yeah, and let's get into this one. So right off the box, you do get your just a little little welcome thing here and little instructions here on how to download the app very simple um you also do get this is going to be your standard usb a uh i kind of wish it was usb c i like you i like usb c it's just faster charging um so you get the cable no charging brick and you do get it looks like uh three different types of earbuds to change plus a little uh, it looks like a little brush here to clean it off. So here are the buds themselves. Now they do have a magnetic here where you could just just put it right in there and that's pretty much it. It will hold it right there. So pretty nice. Um, for me, I'm not, I'm not a big fan when it comes to neck buds. Um, for me, I just like the wireless ones that go around the ear, but but do want to check these out. So on the side here, it does have your, looks like your plus minus. So that way you could go forward and backwards. Um, you do have a minus on this side and then a plus on this side. I have to say these things are extremely lightweight. Now there is a off and on switch right here. And then you do get your power right there. And there's another button right here. So we'll, we're going to figure this out how all this works. So this is pretty simple. You just put it in just like this. And a lot of people do like these neck buds. Um, just, you know, they just hang out around your neck. So it's not bad. Um, so those buttons here on the side here, it's going to be your pairing mode, uh, mode or pairing. So um, it's, it's on both sides right here. And this did look like it was going to be another button up here, but I guess it's nothing. So um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a button there. So just look at the manual it has everything that you need to know about it so we're, we're gonna go ahead and flip this on and it gives me some little beep sound um and i do have to say it is insane um i actually could hear everything very very loud i'm gonna see if i could turn that down a little bit so here you can turn it down the sensitivity um if you turn it down all the way it 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 makes sure that you could still hear your surroundings and it amplifies everything. Um, but even with the S's, it sounds very, very clear. And then, of course, if you want to crank it up, um, you just turn up the other side and it will just amplify everything even more. It almost sounds... Um, I'm trying to, trying to describe it. It almost sounds like a walkie-talkie. And it sounds like you're almost like in, in an in a echoey room, I guess. But if I just click... Like that, I hear everything extremely well. Now to hook up the actual Bluetooth, we're gonna come here to my computer. I'm gonna hit scan there at the very, very top. And I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom here and it should pop up at the bottom. Um, now if it doesn't pop up, make sure you do hit the that button here on the side and it should pop up there. Let me just go ahead and hit scan one more time here at the bottom. So it looks like it might be this one, L406FFG. So, so there it is, uh, here high acuity stereo. So click on that. And the way to pair the Bluetooth mode, that button here on the side, you have to long press it until you hear a little a little beep sound. It'll, it'll just go like boop boop and you're done. Um, so here we are. Um, it is now plugged in. We're gonna go to the app and there we go. It says now device is connected. And I gotta tell you, man, this thing is just super loud. So you can run a hearing test. If you do this, you'll be able to do, you know, it says here, go in a room where it's like below 60 dBs. I'm talking, so it's going to pick everything up. Audiogram. Um, I did this before in one of my other videos. You could uh, adjust this. So if you have like, uh, I don't know, like, like severe hearing or you need something a little bit more sensitive, 
you could program the right or the left. And then if you hit save, it's going to save it exactly like this. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to hit reset and I'm going to hit save here and it just kind of levels everything off pretty good. When it comes to your sound enhancement, you could just choose your general restaurant traffic, whatever you want to do. And then it kind of like sets itself up. So pretty nice and neat. Um, with the volume, if you need a little bit more volume on the left, I definitely hear this one a little bit more than the right. If I want the right side to be a little bit louder, now I hear the right side a little bit louder. And then if I just want it to uh, sync, I just hit the sync there. So right here, I just have it even. Same thing. Now, when it comes to bands, of course, you could do the left side or the right side. Um, you could fine tune all the different uh, e uh the EQ here. So it kind of flipped everything over. It gives you more of a, a variety. So pretty nice. Now, when it comes to noise, impulse noise reduction, again, you could turn it off and on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test now this song here and I'm kind of curious to see how it sounds like. Now I will say this as I'm testing this out, um, I can't hear myself as loud as I was. It shuts it all off, but I could hear the music pretty clear. Now, of course, if I'm cracking it up, um, you know, I want to hear how loud it gets. So it sounds okay. It's not horrible. Um, it doesn't give you that big, big bass that I'm looking for. Um, and now I just turned on the thing here. So I'm going to do a quick phone call to see how it sounds like. So I also just did a phone call and I wanted to test out, you know, just exactly how this sounds like and to see if, um, if, if everything's going to be good. And again, just click this off it says device has been disconnected and the, the bluetooth has notified me so that's pretty neat um i have to say when i took the phone call um they said that i kind of sounded like it was like a little bit echoey ish um and i know some bluetooths they have that echoey where it almost sounds like you're in a bathroom um so i've noticed that that's what that, that's what this one does um it sounds good they said like yeah I, I could hear it it sounds fine you sound clear it just it sounds like it's a little bit echoey a little bit in the in the background like i'm in a bathroom but i'm in a room so yeah i just wanted to give you guys that feedback as i am doing it but i gotta say as a hearing enhancer or like a hearing aid and and how you could use this for your music also and take calls it's pretty good and everything is very loud and clear when i took that call also i was able to hear them extremely well so yeah, some pretty cool stuff. Um, make sure you guys do check this out. Wanted to give you guys a quick review on this thing. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have ever tested these things out there, their hearing aid plus their, you could take calls and, and, and you could also listen to music. It's like the three in one. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. You guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.